Hello, I'm Mira. Today, we bring our focus of moving through core and breath to pre-Pilates exercises. We start with fundamental Pilates movement and techniques. The following classes are created with progression in mind. So let's begin. Let's go to the mat and we're going to start the class seated. Find a comfortable sit, cross-legged, maybe a diamond leg position, or perhaps you can tuck your feet under and sit on your heels. As usual, we sit nice and tall, align the pelvis, the rib cage, the shoulder, the neck, and your head. We'll begin with some breathing. Inhaling through the nose into the lower rib cage. Exhaling through the mouth. Allow the abdominal, the rib cage, the chest to deflate. And let's go. Inhale. Perhaps observe, how is your breath today? Has it got a lot easier? Has it not? Can you breathe a little longer? Can you exhale a little longer, a little deeper? Just observe, it's day three. We've been breathing for three days in a row. Last one here. Let's move on. We're going to move on into our transverse abdominus connection using our breath. So remember the strengthening core class. We inhale, diaphragmatic inhalation, we exhale, we have three stages of the transverse abdominus. We've got the lower abdominal, the middle abdominal, and the upper abdominal. We contract all of them together simultaneously, creating a nice tight corset-like sensation around our spine. We go, inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Last one. Excellent. All right, let's lie supine, lie on our back, turn to your side and Lie on our backs. Have your knees bent. Have your feet on the ground, parallel position. Your hips, your heels, approximately about a fist distance apart. Now have your pelvis and your spine in a comfortable position, which means if you just sort of gently rock the pelvis, just gently, and then you slowly bring the pelvis into stillness. And that will be your pelvis position for the day. Okay. Now the arms are long. Your spine is nice and long. Your feet spreading down to the ground here. We take ourselves into that transverse abdominal TVA engagement again with our breath. So inhaling through the nose into the rib cage. We exhale. We have the imagery of the scalp or the band wrapping the lower rib cage. 
the middle, not the lower rib cage, the lower abdominal, the middle abdominal, the upper abdominal, and all three layers drawing in. We in breath. Exhale. In breath. Let's leave the pelvis bone and the spine, the lower back bone alone. So we're not taking ourselves into rocking. We yet, we're just gonna keep the position and see how much can we tighten that midline around our spine. And three more times. Two more. And the last. And let it go. And now we're going to rock our pelvis. Place the heel of your palm on top of your hip bones and your fingertips will diagonally fall down and bring the two fingertips together to the fingers towards the pubic bone and the thumbs will join the middle, creating a triangle-like position with your hand. And place the hand on the pelvis, and we breathe. We exhale, we draw the tibia in, and then we allow the pelvis to rock using the abdominal. And now the lower back is imprinted to the floor, and your bottom comes off the floor, and let go on the in-breath. Exhale, deflating the abdominal so you feel the belly pulling away from your hands and you rock the pelvis and in breath. Exhale, in breath, rocking away. Exhale, moving with your breath, focusing on the TVA, then the rock of the pelvis and the lower spine two more times. In breath, last one, in breath, and bring the pelvis back to your starting position. Now we move on to our knee drop. So we want to stabilize the pelvis here, right? Your hands will be a tactile cue. I want you to, as you breathe out, I want you to open or open one thigh out to the side while keeping the pelvis nice and stable. In breath, bring the leg back in. I'm just gonna stand up, I can come close to you as we do this. So I have my hands on the pelvis. I'm gonna open one knee out to the side. With that, bringing the pelvis with me, I'm gonna just let the thigh bone move out and pull back in. And we got the other side. Keeping the pelvis nice and stable. And the other side, get switching sides. And come back. Come back. The idea here is to create pelvic stability while you move the thigh bone away from the center. It's challenging part with the lower abdominal here. And continue. Open one leg out and bring it in. And open the other leg out and bring it in. Again, only go as far as you can keep the pelvis nice and stable. And bring it in. Last one. And bring it back in. Well done. Bring one knee to your chest and the other one to your chest too. For some hip circle we're going to bring the thigh to your chest compress it your bottom can come off a little bit and then we're going to pull the thigh away making a circular movement and bring them together and in. and now just breathe restoring the hip joint inviting some blood circulation back into the hips Mobility back into the hips. Moving with our breath. 
one more and then we reverse the other way out in breath last one and center let's bring the leg away from me down to the floor and bring the leg closer to me up to a tabletop position hoping that the pelvis stays in somewhat balanced position here now let's press your hands against the thigh we're going to activate that oblique muscle so as we breathe out we push down with our hands and i want you to break put a break from the thigh or with your thigh and we go we breathe that we push down and hold it with the thigh we're going to feel that same side obliques contracting and engaging as you push and release two more times exhale so pushing away pushing the leg away hold on and relax last one again making sure that the neck is nice and long too and and release lower that leg down and bring the other leg up and off we go pressing down as we breathe out push down push down push down and release again we press and release last one I still have that openness sensation across the front of the chest and release and lower the feet down let's take the arms up to the sky here I'd like you to just reach up up the shoulders will come off the floor and then we're just gonna drop it down and release two more exhale last one exhale let's turn the hands towards the legs here now I'd like you to inhale bring the arms overhead without disturbing the rib cage so allow the rib cage to lengthen down to the pelvis exhale down inhale lift the rib cage alone just move the arms exhale in breath so i want you to contract or engage the upper abdominal as your arms go overhead and down and with the arching the upper back off the floor as your arm move up and down inhale two more lengthen the rib cage down exhale last one in exhale and let it go let's turn towards me i like you to bring the bottom arm nice and long bend the knees tuck the legs have the feet aligned with your spine imagine you are lying on your side against a wall here you can have the top arm in front of you here i like you to just drop the waistline down now here as you breathe out i want you to pull in the abdominal the tva lifting up the bottom obliques creating the spine in a one beautiful straight line and let it go you can have your hands here in front of you exhale slight pressing down with the hands as we lift i'm going to put my arm here so you can see what's happening with my spine exhale i'm lifting i'm lifting i'm lifting and i let it go two more times and let it go so we are waking up the obliques here and let it go help yourself up other side okay here we go same thing stack the legs align the feet and the spine against the imaginary wall behind you we drop the bottom waist we exhale we lift in breath exhale we lift in breath if you palpate the bottom waistline you feel a little tension in that abdominal muscle in breath pulling up two more last one well done okay on to our front i like you to stack the palm of your hands one on top of the other half the elbow nice and wide half your legs long behind you 
Make sure your feet are not wider than your pelvis. I like you to engage your hamstring, your back leg muscle. Right here, into a back extension exercise, we call the diamond press. Now float the head just off the floor. Now we inhale into the lungs. And as you exhale, I like to work and lift that TVA muscle off the floor. And then as you inhale, we're going to glide the shoulder blades and gently lift the upper back up off the floor. So we are activating our upper back muscle here into an extension position. The neck is long and making sure that the lower spine does not collapse down to the floor, but you want to think about the lower spine lengthening down to the pelvis and to the feet and we lower the chest down again. And again, we inhale, gliding the shoulder blades, lifting the spine nice and tall. Lower back is nice and long. Exhale, we return. Inhale three more times. We draw the shoulder blades down. We allow that movement to take our upper back up. My back of the leg muscles are active. My abdominal is active as I leave my upper back. And we go down. And inhale, last one here. We're lifting, we're lifting. Feeling that mid back drawing towards the lower spine. The neck is long, the gaze is still down to the floor. And we release. Well done. Bring the arms on the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away with the arms and pull up with the abdominal. And push yourself into a rest position where your pelvis is going to sit on your heel. The arms are going to be actively reaching away. And the back is long. In breath. Exhale. One more. Exhale, and we roll the spine up, nice and tall, and you're done. Well done for completing the class with me today. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels, as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.